For the second video in uh, Chainsaw Maintenance, we're going to be doing the same thing as the first video, but we're going to be doing it on a pro level saw. So this is the Steel MS 261 C-M. It also has an inboard clutch, uh, but it is a spur sprocket. Let's go ahead and take the uh, side panel bar and chain off and get started from there. Alright, with the side panel off, you can see the setup kind of looks similar to the homeowner version. We've got the uh, C-clip holding the assembly on there, we've got this holder, but this is a rim style sprocket. So let's go ahead and uh, take that C-clip off, just like on the other machine. Alright, so same as before, you just grab a screwdriver, place it in one of those slots, and just kind of pry it out. Alright, so we'll go ahead, take this retaining washer off. Alright, there's your sprocket. If you're just changing out your sprocket, that's all you gotta do. Grab your new one, and stick it on there, you're good to go. But I would recommend, while you're here, just, you can see we get some grassy shit built up right there. So clean that out. Get in the habit of taking your clutch drum off to check your cage bearings. It can be real easy to get in the habit of uh, not doing that with these pro saws because you don't have to. But I would definitely recommend doing that. So you can see, just as in the homeowner saws, there's your cage bearing. I'm not going to take this off and re-grease it. This is a, about a brand new saw, so it doesn't need it. Just like on the homeowner, you can see you have this notch cut into the side of the clutch drum. All right, so the notch on the clutch drum is going to line up with that bar that you can just barely see in there when you go to reinstall it. Just because I did take it off, I'm going to go ahead, grab a clean paper towel, make sure my surfaces are clean. All right, when you go to replace and or reinstall your cage bearing, go ahead and take your grease. Light coating on the outside of the crank. Light coating on the outside of the cage bearing. Go ahead and reinstall it. When you reinstall your clutch drum, ensure that your tab is lined up with that uh, bar for the oiler I pointed out earlier. Got my bar located right up here. Go ahead and line them up and install. There we go. Place your sprocket, reinstall or replace whatever. Placeholder washer, whatever the hell they call those, I don't fucking know. And your C-clip. With your bar and chain installed back on your machine, you're ready to get back to felling or limbing, bucking. Uh, making a fool of yourself trying to cut down a tree from a ladder while your neighbor films you, whatever it is you like to do. So with that, have a good one, humans.